All right, how we doing fishing friends? Exciting times here for the average angler. We're gonna go fish a new lake tomorrow. I've been there once uh, with someone else in their boat. <clears throat> so I didn't really get a whole lot from it. Uh, I just went where he took me and we fished. It's a good lake, uh, big spotted bass, big largemouth. There's trout in the lake. So that's something to keep in mind when, when looking at the lake. Uh, and where to target. Um, so we're gonna do a little lake breakdown. And the lake I'm looking at is New Malonis. It's kind of irrelevant which lake because we're just doing the lake breakdown. What I look for when I'm going to a new lake, what I do. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the Navionics chart viewer on my computer pull the lake up, kind of look around for types of things that I would want to look for fish to be holding uh, according to the time of year. Uh, it is still winter. I'm expecting the water to be somewhere high 40s, low 50s, uh, maybe even as low as the mid 40s. Like I said, I'm not very familiar with New Malonis. Uh, so, we're gonna go up there and see if we can't catch us some big spotted bass or some big largemouth. There's lots of big fish in this lake. Good quality spotted bass, three pounds and up. Uh, a few years ago, there was a, uh, one caught in a tournament over 10 pounds, uh, and there's lots of big spots in the lake as well as largemouth. So, what am I gonna look for here? Uh, First of all, you got to take into account the water level of the lake. Where are we at uh, to full pool? Because when you're looking at the Navionics chart viewer, it doesn't adjust. I don't have the membership or anything. I, this is just free. So I just pull up the top of a map and I can get a pretty good look at the lake. But you got to keep in mind the level of the lake. So right now it's about 140 feet down. So I'm going to pull up the map and... I'm gonna look from that 140 foot down. So I gotta pick an area that, that catches my eye and then really zoom in and see what's there. So what I've picked, and you'll see in the first picture that I put in here for you to look at, some long points that stick way out into the lake, but they also have sides with steep drop-offs, okay? So it might be long tapering going this way and then this side over here close to me is gonna drop off in towards the main river channel. Good places for fish to stage, good places for fish to live in the winter, uh, and especially trout eaters. Uh, now, I don't really know what the terrain is as far as rocky, mud, that kind of thing. Those will play a part for me. Uh, one key thing to look for in the winter time for bigger spotted bass is clay banks. Uh, and, and the reason for that, if you've caught many large spotted bass, uh, I've been blessed to have caught quite a few. You'll notice if you look on their bellies, <clears throat> mud in their scales. Uh, that's because they'll lay down in those clay banks. Whether it's warmer or whatever it is, it's just something I noticed. Clay banks hold large spotted bass. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. And that's kind of something I'm gonna to have to assess when I get out there. But what I did was this area that in this clip that you're gonna see, it, it, it's a pretty, it has a lot of different things. Uh, it's got a few creek channels running through. It's got some long, slow tapering points uh, with some flats on them and uh, drops off into deep water on, on the sides of them. So it's a good place for me to kind of start, kind of get a feel for what's going on. See if I can't figure out uh, what these fish are doing uh, pretty quick. Uh, some of the lures that I intend to use, uh, the underspin, a jig, uh, maybe a drop shot. I'm not huge on drop shotting, but I'll do it if I have to. Um, I do love a shaky head. Uh, I like to feel a little bit more weight, uh, maybe a Ned, but I guarantee you I won't be starting out with those things in the morning unless I see a group of fish uh, and the spoon, the dust spoon, uh, probably in an ounce and a half size is something I will use if I get over the top of bait with fish in it. 
so that's where we're at for there. So, <clears throat> oh, and the A-Rig. Uh, the A-Rig for throwing shallower. I will fish it deeper. I will throw it out on these long points, let it sink to the bottom, and then slow retrieve it. Uh, it's something I'll do at Berryessa also. So as you look at this clip, you'll see some nice points there. You'll see some drop-offs. Um, this is also gonna be a semi-protected area off of the main river channel, coming back into this big bay. Um, there's lots of deep water. And uh, looks like there's some steeper banks where I can throw some reaction on, throw that A-rig parallel to the steeper banks. Uh, <clears throat> also a Neko rig, uh, Neko rig Senko. Uh, keep it simple, uh, green pumpkin, um, green pumpkin watermelon like a Yamamoto, I think it's a 925. Uh, or a bait fish color, whatever you prefer. Now, in the spotted bass, you can get a little more creative uh, as they like bright colors. Uh, and we may throw a HUD a bit. Uh, we're going to have to see what the conditions present, what the fish are sitting on, those kinds of things. If I'm seeing much activity level or if they're sucked tight to the bottom. Uh, okay, uh, so we're going to go from there. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to have to start looking at some different things. Now, if we need to look at some different things, right around the corner from where the area I picked is a very steep sheer bank. Uh, we can try that. Um, or we can do the opposite and go look for some flat stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna start on these long, slow tapering points first, see if I can get a feel for what's going on and go from there. Uh, I'm gonna fish a jig is gonna be my primary starting and I will fish it from zero to 75 feet. Yes, yeah, 75 feet. Uh, take a look at your bait fish. How deep are your bait fish? Uh, at Barry Essa last week, I saw them down to 100 feet. Uh, the bait's down there and can survive. You better believe the bass are down there. Upcoming Friday, I will release that video um, of my day of fishing on New Malonis. And you can see how it goes and, and the moves I make from there. I'll talk a little bit about it through the day and hopefully we can help everybody catch some more fish and bigger fish. Bigger fish are a lot of fun uh, and it's rewarding. So this is Sean with The Average Angler. If you enjoyed the content, if you're learning anything, like and subscribe, share with a friend and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.